Oh, sure. That's a great idea. Um, but I'm not sure if Nicole is into horror films. Let me just ask her. Nicole? Hey, Nicole! You want to watch Werewolf vs. Zombie Vampire 6? Okay. Well, she didn't say no, so count us in. Sexual consent means that both people are actively willing to engage in a particular sexual behavior and express their consent by saying, yes, that's okay with me. But just because someone consents to engage in one kind of behavior does not mean that they have agreed to engage in another. Hello? It's you again. Gosh, this is the third time today. No, I don't care if this is my once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to get the Sucker 3000 vacuum cleaner. Please, just stop harassing me. Sexual harassment is a type of bullying <laughs> intended to hurt or intimidate someone. It can include making sexual Ooh. jokes, comments, or gestures to or about Ooh. someone. Spreading sexual okay. rumors in Ooh. person, by text, or online. Writing sexual messages about people on bathroom stalls or in other public places. Showing someone inappropriate sexual pictures or videos. Touching, grabbing, or pinching someone in a deliberately sexual way. Asking someone to send you naked pictures of herself or himself. Pulling at someone's clothing. And brushing up against someone in a purposefully sexual way. If you're being harassed, don't blame yourself. The idea that someone was asking for it because of something they did, said, or were wearing is false and unacceptable. It often can be helpful to start by telling the person doing the harassing to stop. Let him or her know that this behavior is not okay with you. If that doesn't stop the harassment, don't just ignore the behavior. Usually, ignoring it won't make it stop. Instead, tell a trusted adult about it. Telling someone sooner leads to faster results. Sexual assault is when someone does something sexual to another person without getting their permission first. That can include anything from touching someone's genitals, breast, or butt, inserting something into any of their body parts, or showing them something sexual when they haven't given their explicit consent. If he assaults you in any way, first remember that it's not your fault. No matter who you were with, how you were dressed, or what you were doing, you have nothing to feel guilty about, period. If anyone ever rapes you or hurts you in any way, get to a hospital fast. Tell them what happened and they can help you take the steps to prevent illness or pregnancy and get you to the additional support you'll need. Most importantly, you should tell someone you trust, like your mom or a school counselor. You can tell them face to face, over text, on the phone, or however you're most comfortable. Talking to us was a good start. Until next time. Don't forget to visit me at amaze.org or go to my YouTube channel to watch more. Bye!